slow up No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and do so instinctive and so passionate every word i move so descriptive like an adjective i got a van better we had a fairly early start at a track which i've never driven before and i was quite keen to drive this was supposed to be a little warm-up track it turned out to be a bit more than that uh, especially for some of the trucks <laughs> Even though it was not uh, wet wet, it hadn't rained uh, recently too much, but the rocks and everything was super slippery and moist. This is a particularly nasty rock step, very slippery um, diff uh, hanger right in front of it and to the right is a three meter drop um, so you can't go really too far. Nick just drove that brilliantly. Curdy cleared uh, the first rock steps very easy, it really suited his wheelbase. And at this stage, uh, we didn't know that his rear locker actually wasn't working. Oh. It wasn't in. Okay, put your rear locker in. It is in. No. As I had a better ramp over angle, I decided to take the right hand side, which was a reasonable size step where some of the lower cars got hung up on. <laughs> Next it was Jacob's turn in the mighty Hilux. As Jacob didn't have a winch, he decided uh, to give it a miss this time and wait uh, until his winch is installed, which uh, was a good decision as we saw a bit later on. I think at this stage Joachim was still running around 18 or 20 psi. Um, he aired further down a bit later on.
as the defender is Joachim's touring truck, uh, he decided to winch up. We found out a bit later that Kurt's rear locker, the plug for the e-locker wasn't uh, properly plugged in. This is quite a sizable step, very slippery. Even the um, ascent to the step, as you see here, is very slippery and not much traction. Kurt's rear locker not working, not much chance really. The trick here is to go far right, which kind of wedges you uh, behind this big rock. Then you have a big rock underneath, which doesn't clear the most people cars dips and then you need some commitment to drive up it. Quite a challenging thing in the way. Now it was Joachim's turn on that nasty step. Nearly. Joachim had his wheel facing into the wrong direction and nearly ripped his CV out. What happened, Curly? I just did a bit more panel beating. You're accumulating. Huh? Where? Yeah, is it? Oh, the whole top?
while Kurt was still uh, mucking around on the step above me, I take the next step in front of me. Next it was uh, Joachim's turn on that same step. Nice, nice. Docker's in. Go, go, go. Hey. No, you were on the right line, Mike. Yes. Go, go. Joachim is still getting used to the defender. And this being his tourer, he doesn't have any reduction gears or underdriving. While I was assisting Joachim down here, uh, Nick was uh, assisting Kurt a little bit higher up and they started winching the last 50-60 uh, meters up the hill. Joachim decided to give another go after we realigned him a little bit. It proved to be very tough that hill in the wet. Kurt, oh, we are on that hill for, I don't know, three hours I think. Joachim is winching. Just put a little bit of tension on to see. Ah, stop! It, uh, it's not going to clear that tree here. While Joachim and Andrea extracted the defender, I uh, started driving the next part as Kurt uh, by now cleared uh, the steps. Oh no! He, he probably come back about a few foot too, you want it to. Okay, yeah, it's good, that's good, that keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, go back about another half a foot, you want it to. No. Joachim's uh, lockers unfortunately stopped working. Oh, wow! Mate, that was a rock that size flying straight off. If someone would have stood there, they'd taken the head off. I don't know whether I have that on video. Unfortunately, the rear wheel sped the rock out, so I don't have it on video. top just to find out a couple of hundred meters down the track that everything was uh, private property and we pretty much had to go back the same way we came. 